So let's get started. This is the Canic Meta SFX. This is the, the longer barrel one than the, I believe the other one is SFT. Um, to get started, empty, throw that to the side, completely empty. Um, so what we're gonna do is put the Hollow Sun uh, 407K, it is the X2 series, um, which I believe they make a 507. Um, this is the one I went with because the 507 cost a couple more bucks and it seemed like all the extras that the 507 had nobody used so I just went with the 407. So before we get going, there's a couple of tools out of the toolkit. I'm gonna go ahead and use. I think that's it. This is pretty cool. This comes with the meta. It's the, the little toolkit, little um, wrench and everything. Uh, anytime I've showed this meta to everybody, this is the first thing they grab out of the box, actually. So first thing we're gonna do, take the slide off of um, the polymer bottom base. Um, Canics come apart pretty easy, just like a Glock, pull back a little bit up here and it just pops right off. It's actually one of the easiest, I think there is when it comes to pistols. Spring comes off, barrel comes out, just like a Glock, just like a SIG, just like pretty much any other polymer gun. And that's it. So we're gonna need to access these two screws right here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use the tools that come with the kit. Um, you need a T10, I believe, out of it. Yeah, T10. Like I said, it's pretty slick. You just do that, put it back on, and <laughs> pretty cool. Um, take these screws out here. There are some little lock washers down in here um, if you plan on reusing it. And here's why I got the punch out. This thing, they do a really good job making this thing nice and tight sitting on top of here. So you just gotta kinda come in from the back and push on it. There's some holes in here that you can push on to uh, get that thing off of there. comes with a lot of oil on it already so just take a shop rag get some of that off of there um, I will put a little bit of oil back on it when I um, reassemble it because um, that just sits there so any dirt I know a lot of people try to get these super clean um, but I kind of feel like the oil is gonna keep it from rusting if you ever get any water or anything up under there like I said gonna put the hollow Sun 407k this is part of the x2 series i believe anything on the x2 series is going to work on the meta but don't count me on that so make sure you check for sure even this one here's got some iffy things about it yeah the actual side itself Set that off. Um, little tools for. And then it comes with two different size screws in case you have like a uh, TP9, which uses smaller sets. Um, this meta is going to use the bigger set. All right, so we'll grab the slide. Um, the meta comes with these two um, um, adapter plates that are going to fit down in there where the original stock version once did to fit different brands of micro red dots. The Meta definitely doesn't come with as many as the TP9 series, plus the gap here is a lot smaller, so it doesn't fit nearly as many. Um, where the TP9 series, it was a lot wider, um, and then these would make up a lot of the difference. The Hollow Sun comes with on the bottom, it has two indentions in it, um, but both of the plates come with four. And the only difference in the plates that I've been able to tell is that one has um, these dealy whoppers on the ends to um, you know adjust for sizes and stuff like that. Um, the one that has the two is the one that you're going to want for the hollow sun. But there's, like I said, they both come with four of these little tits on here. So what I had to do was file off the backside of 
that one there. Um, I've, I think some people are going to want to typically go to like a grinder, some sort of die grinder, something like that. I don't think that's a really great idea. What I did was went with a file. These are just plastic, so it doesn't take a whole hell of a lot to get rid of them. Plus, you make small little uh O's instead of big ones where you actually get into that plate and change the actual shape of it. This will literally only take you know, 10, 15 swipes um, with a decent, nice flat file. So I don't recommend going at it with a power tool, some sort of grinder, find you a, a, a smooth, you know, a uh, file with a nice flat and go from it there. So like I said, this is what wound up to be the end result here. Um, the back little tits have been taken off of it. And that just slides in here like that. Now the screws you took out are gonna be these little suckers here. Okay, now the ones you're gonna put in are the, the bigger size. <clears throat> I'm sure these all have their own sizes. Um, I call them the small and the big. It's pretty much how it goes for the um, micro red dots. The hollow sun does come with two, depending on um, the small and the bigger ones. Uh, so we weren't gonna need the small ones because unlike the TP9, um, they jumped up to the bigger screws, which I think is probably a pretty good idea considering um, they all seem to want you to go with the big screws. Now, you're gonna run into this weird little thing here, is these have a recessed countersunk holes to them. Let's see if I can find that. There we go. Um, and the screws that come with the Meta are these flat bottomed ones. So they're obviously not going to sit down in there like they're supposed to. Now the screws that come with the um, the screws that come with the met or not the meta but the uh, the hollow sun they do have the beveled edge or beveled bottom or whatever it's called now in the instructions uh, canic specifically says do not use screws other than the ones supplied now this would be the one that they're talking about these screws are identical in length and they're identical in thread pattern everything about them exactly the same the only thing that's different is this has the bevel this doesn't so i'm assuming the canic really only puts that on their instructions for liability issues that way if you use some something else it winds up being your fault not theirs because they told you to put the screws on there pretty simple though these little holes here those little tits are going to go on these here and it just fits right on there get you no, no gaps in between there nothing like that um, screws they take the t10 just like the ones that come out it's a pretty standard screw so they do come with a small amount of what I'm assuming is blue Loctite already on them um, I don't really trust these much it's, it don't seem like they stick out. I've always been able to put those in and bring them back out so blue Loctite just stiffens it up doesn't lock them in um, just like Tabasco I pretty much put this shit on everything um, tiny little drop is all it's gonna need tiny little drop it's gonna need that's it you mounted the hollow sound to a canic meta after that arrow goes back in Spring back goes back in over the top. That's it. We're back together, and that's your hollow sun. Just for shits and giggles. Streamlight TRL HL. I try to put a streamline just about all my pistols that I really enjoy shooting the most of.
that's it that's all it takes so like i said the uh the big thing about the putting the hollow sun on the the canic is shaving down that plate shaving down the one here in the back you're going to want to do the ones closest to the screws um like this is the different plate this is the one that you don't need for it um like i said don't use i you know you do what you want but i wouldn't use um some power tool a um a really nice flat file you know like a nicholson or something like that um we'll take it down in a hurry these are really fine grooves and it doesn't take any time at all plus you're not going to worry about getting into um that back support there or you know something along those lines um and then like i said in the instructions it does say do not use um or it doesn't say do not use it says to use only canic screws but I don't see any problem using the ones that were supplied by Holosun. Tip.